Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the United Nations had requested for a thousand policemen from Kenya to go to the Haiti mission to help keep away the gangster from the city and give peace to the locals in Haiti. U.S. was pushing for that too much. They have taken a central role, a front role, to push for Kenya to give the 1,000 police officers to Haiti. Remember, there are some funds that have come in. Macron also gave in more money. So it's a push from the West and the uh, European Union to have Kenyan police officers in Haiti. Then after that, we saw barbecue, the gang leader, giving a warning to Kenya. And he's clear that he's going to consider Kenyan police as aggressors. And he, he's going to resist them by all means and at all cost. By all means, at all cost. He's going to resist them. Then after that, now in the news, we are now learning that United Nations is now demanding or requesting for 5,000 police officers. It is no longer 1,000. It is now 5,000. And there are so many questions that are coming out. Remember, one of the police officers that was buried in Nyanza, and uh, was it Kisi somewhere or where? And we shared the views here that he was in a mission to Haiti to go and uh, check the situation. So we are wondering, you know, look at that now. They are demanding now five from 1,000. And the other questions that have been there, have already our police officers been deployed to Haiti or they are still here? What about the one who was who died in a, you know, that kind of unexplainable circumstance? Those questions are still there. So, people are, are still wondering, wale police officers elef moja walisema waende, washa enda, na wamewawa, ndi wanataka elef tano, or what has changed? You know, what made them to say that they need 1,000? And now what is pushing them to now request for 5,000? Those are the questions. We are continuing this point in our discussion by just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, look at our situation here in Kenya, where we have shortage of police officers. What we have is not enough because we have seen bandits taking over Baringo. We have seen chiefs coming live on camera to cry and beg to resign. He need to be in terminal leave. But they are forcing back to duty. And he really explained what they have gone through. It is traumatizing. So for him, it is better for him to lose a job but to be alive and have his family. Than having the job and lose all your entire family, including risking your own life. That is where we have reached. This tells you that we don't have enough police officers to deal with our situation here in Kenya. So imagine from 1,000 Wandaka waongeza elefu tano. Yani wanaongeza nini ifike tano. Tutabaki na nini hapa Kenya? Tutabaki na nini? What we have is not enough, but now they need 5,000. Yet, Kenya is not yet safe. Someone said that Nairobi is not secured. Nairobi, Nairobi is not safe. So, the argument is that Ruto should secure Nairobi first. Deal with the tax, violence, killing, robbery in Nairobi before you think of Haiti and elsewhere. Indeed, we have a very narcissistic president, a very heartless regime of Kenya Kwanzaa, 
They are being driven by greedy. Greediness. So for them money is good. These deals are very good. No wonder they were supported to get to this power. Remember the role of U.S. Ambassador at Bomas of Kenya? And you can see the kind of missions now. They said 1,000, now 5. I am saying they are heartless because of two things. Number one, the officers we are sending to Haiti, they are not sure if they will come back live. We have seen people, uh, those gangsters turning into cannibals. They kill, burn you, roast you, and feed on your meat. That's how far they can go. They have taken over the city. 70% they, it is in, in their control. They took over police station hostage. They have seized the airport. Key government institutions have been seized by these gangsters. Sasa tunangoja tu wa police waende kule watawapiga watachoma nyama yao watakula they are heartless number 2 because our own people are dying in a baringo you go to coast region we have areas where gangs are terrorizing the entire village if you go to Kerio in elgeyo marakwet there is problem there is problem in nairobi our own people are not sure of their security. We have seen MCA being killed in Baringo. They are heartless because they have failed to provide security to those people who are taxpayers, who are voters, and who are Kenyans. Yet, they can use our officers elsewhere in Haiti. So to them, Haiti is of more importance than Kenyans who pay taxes to get uniform for these police officers to pay their salary and to fund this administration. Instead, they take our own resources to go and serve other people's interest, but not our own interest here. That is how far Kenya Kwanza regime is heartless. Otherwise, as I was speaking now, before you think of sending any single police officers to Haiti, you will have secured Baringo. We will not see the kind of situation we see in Kerio Valley in El Geyo Maraket. What we are experiencing in Nairobi, in Coast, and other major towns and cities, it will not be happening. It is happening because they are heartless. Their focus is elsewhere, not to serve your interest. They don't care about you. If they care about you, your security will come number one before anyone else. Because of these two reasons, these people are heartless. They are heartless. So look at that. Tutabaki na nini hapa Kenya? And remember when they take, they also, they always take the best. So they are going to take our best outside there. Awata chukwa mtu minyamatoka kwale jijana. So when we lose, we lose the best and the most experienced. Because you can't take this boys while we talk about college hapa, when training hapa, watamanizwa. Because they are not yet well exposed. They are not yet gone through hardship. They don't have enough experience. Yet those gangs are going to meet their own leader was a former senior police officer. These guns are well trained. They have one of the best firearms that are using. So this is not a joke. This, this is, you know, you are playing with death. You are between life, life and death. You are not sure if you will come back. So we don't know. How are elf, when you want to go if you can Ni kwa sababu wale wa kwanza walikufa wameuawa they are injured or what happened ama they are not yet been deployed na bado wanapaa ku deploy 
so many questions with so limited answers. But that's where we are heading to. This tells you that William Ruto, his administration is not here to serve people of Kenya's interest. They are serving the other forces' interest, not Kenyan people's interest. Haiti is far from Kenya. If there is war there, we are not affected in any way. It is not even in Africa. But it has become their first priority. You as Kenyan, you are coming in a second or third priority. But you pay tax. You find this administration. Happen deep to Nafik. The man and the man wanna find a chess or any comment there. They're saying that because in this administration, people were asking for percentages. Mount Kenya said they, they need 60%. <laughs> Someone is saying we need 60% of police officers out of this 5,000 to be from Mount Kenya region. Western Wakambi were 30%. Someone is making a joke that we need to see 30% of these 5,000 police officers coming from Western region. When you know, 10% from elsewhere. Pia wape wa hivu. So, imefika pale. But the truth is that this country priorities have been lost somewhere. We are being shortchanged by Ruto's administration. Kenyans have been shortchanged, period.